Morris on the sweep. Brings it up. This is the jet sweep out of the pistol wing tee. Alright guys, um, see we're in the pistol wing tee here. We do run jet sweep to the tight end side and to the split end side. Uh, this video I'll draw it up um, to the tight end side. Now we label our backs, uh, the left wing will be three, right wing will be four, our tail back will be two, our QB will be one. We call our tight end, it's a Y, but we call them tight end and our X's we, we call split end. Alright, so um, real quick jet sweep, okay? After the, our, our cadence is red, set, go. So after this three back here is red, that's when his motion starts, okay? And this is full speed jet motion. Now it's important to understand that the motion timing may vary. It depends on your player's speed, your player's age, how far out you want this kid. That's something you have to work on with your own team. Okay, the motion timing, it's different with everyone. But that, that I'm gonna draw it up how we do it. So after the first sound of the quarterback, red. After the full word is said by the QB, he comes in full speed motion. Red, set, go, ball snapped. He hands to the three back, we get outside. Now we'll go through the blocking with the backfield first, okay? He's gonna step play side, look to hook this defensive end. It's very important that he doesn't take any steps forward, okay? He's gotta take a nice outside leverage step and really work to beat this defensive end because if he's expanding, okay, he has to really you know, be an athlete here and, and, and reach him, okay? Get on his outside shoulder. So make sure he's not taking any steps forward, then trying to seal. Okay, make sure he's stepping outside, racing this kid to the edge, so he can seal him. Now, um, we are gonna pull the backside guard on this, um, excuse me, the front side guard, okay? So, most teams, you know, they'll step play side and they'll cut off, you know, reach block on jet sweep blocking, but what we do is we stick to our base rules inside over free, okay? So there's no one inside, there's defender over, so our tackle's blocking over. There's no one inside, no one over, he's getting free. Wanna to try to cut off this mic. Center's gonna step play side, cut off this nose. This guard is gonna pull, and he is tunneling the corner, okay? Now, ideally, we want him to get on his outside shoulder of the corner. That doesn't always necessarily happen, so we tunnel, meaning take him anywhere he wants to go. If, he, if he's really holding outside leverage to turn this play in, we want to just carry him out, tunnel him out to the sidelines. He's going to step play side cutoff, step play side cutoff. Split end's going to try to work for that free safety. Now, what we like to do is we'll have our two back fake like it's belly. Okay, uh, the next play I'll draw up for you is um, our tail back belly play. But uh, we like to have him fake belly. Because, pre, you know, there are some key breakers here. It looks like we're running belly because the guard's pulling. And the two back is coming downhill. So it does look like belly. On belly, our guard's going to pull. He's going to kick rather than lead. So, you know, there are some key breakers there. So we have our two fake like it's belly. One hands to the jet sweep player. Fakes to the two. And then executes a naked bootleg. Okay, so he catches a snap. Hands to the motion back. Turns and hands to the two. Okay, we need a good fake here that'll hold some of the defenders. Um, so yeah, that's the jet sweep. If you wanted to run it to the split end side, how we do it, okay, say the four back. Make sure here. Our racer stinks. Racer stinks. Oh, too bad, okay. If we run or wanted to run it to the to split end side, okay, we'll crack this outside linebacker. He's gonna work the seal. Inside over free, he's going to pull, he's going to tunnel the corner, two is going to fake like it's belly, it's a snap, and he goes outside. So that, that's how we run it to the split end side. If we run jet to the split side, we're usually almost always cracking. This is the belly play. It's the first compliment, also jet sweep action. Now the motion timing is just like it is on jet sweep, and again you have to work out the timing with your with your team because it does depend on your player age, your player speed, what your splits are. So the timing is something you need to work out and practice. For us, it's on red. So after he hears red, it's red. Set, go. Ball snapped. He is going to carry out his jet jet sweep fake. Okay, this is critical. We need a great fake here because that'll widen these defenders and that'll create an easy kick out for our guard and it'll create really it'll really create a natural uh, natural running lane inside okay so the three has to carry out his fake all the way okay if he stops his fake here they're gonna stop believing 
he has the ball here. Okay, so he needs to continue out his fake. Okay, so that's very important. Now we'll just start with the backside real quick. He's going to work to that safety. Okay, you'll see why we like have him work to that safety because on the next play we do run a backside post. So after a while the corner will kind of sleep on that and this is usually open. But that, that'll be the next uh, part of the video. So I'm going to step play side cutoff and side over free. Now our, our center is going to step play side. He is going to base this nose, okay? Now, the blocking rules for our tight end and tackle are gap down backer, okay? So our tackle, if there's no one in his gap, he looks down. If there's no one in his gap, no one down, he gets on to backer, okay? So he's going right for the mic here. Now, if this nose is a good player, okay, he's, he's dipping and ripping or slanting, slanting um, to the motion side and, you're, and your center's having a difficult time, you could have the tackle just come down and, and double team him, okay? So um, that, that's a good way to handle a good nose guard, okay? You know, sometimes they'll slant this kid, or if he's just a big body that's being disruptive or shooting the gap, okay, you could just base him, you could just have this tackle block down on him. Okay, so that's an option there. Gap, there's a defender in his gap, so he's blocking down. Okay, this guard is going to pull. He's kicking out the defensive end, okay? It's very important that he pulls just as these kids are down blocking, okay? These down blockers have to know that this guard's pulling right, behind, right off my butt, so I need to... Um, block down and really wash my defender down, okay? Because you, you do not want this kid to pull too flat, okay? Because if he pulls too flat and this end squeezes, he'll spill the play and, and it'll blow up the whole play, okay? So if you get defensive ends that squeeze, okay, which most of the time we don't, but, um, you know, if they are taught properly and they are squeezing this down block, okay, he has to make sure he, he takes a good V-step and is still able to kick out. Aiming point is the inside hip. Okay, of the player he's kicking out. Four is going to insert for backer. Okay, he's going to beat the guard. Okay, so you could have him cheat his split in and up. Okay, so he'll block down, he'll insert for backer, and he'll kick out. Okay. Now, two back is going to step play side, and he is coming right down the hall. Okay, quarterback, don't have him take too many step steps or exaggerate the fake. Okay, just having him. Just having him open this way is going to make it look like it's jet sweep, okay? Quarterback has to turn and hand the running back the ball, okay? Or tailback here, or two. Okay, he cannot come to the quarterback and then go to the point of attack, okay? It's the quarterback's job to get him the ball as far out by the point of attack as possible and as deep in the backfield as possible, okay? He needs his aiming point is this outside shoulder of um, the outside hip, you could say, of this right tackle, okay? So the quarterback's going to catch the snap. Little fake to the jet, he's going to turn, hand to the two, he's going to carry out a naked bootleg fake, okay? And uh, make sure he carries out that fake because you could install some plays off of your with the, uh, QB bootleg too if you see they're not respecting it. Okay, so that's basically belly. Um, you know what, I will draw it up for you against maybe a 6-2. Okay, it is blocked a little bit different. And it's very important that you um, you work blocking uh, belly belly blocking against multiple fronts, okay? Because you just don't know what um, offense is going to come out in. But you know, for us, we do see we see mostly a four four or a five three. We see a five three a lot, especially this past year. So it's usually a four four or five three. So I'll draw it up with four four. Sometimes they'll. They'll roll into a 6-2. We'll bring these backers up on the line a little bit more. Okay. Inside over free blocking rolls. He's going to block down. He's going to work onto backer. Okay. Center. He always when he has double A gaps, a guy in both his gaps. He his rule is always to block the backside A gap defender. When I say backside A gap defender, that means the defender opposite of the play side. Okay. So he's blocking play side. Um, tackle gap down there's no one in his gap but there's a defender down so he is blocking down okay there's someone in his gap he is blocking down the four is going to insert for this backer okay because we are kicking out the first defender outside of the tight end okay the first defender outside of his inside shoulder okay that's who we're kicking out sometimes he'll be on the line sometimes he'll be off the ball so make sure you practice with your guards okay when they pull okay you still want to stay flat Okay, that doesn't change, but sometimes your kick out will be on the line. Sometimes he may be off the ball a little bit. So make sure your, your, your guards know 
the difference and, and, and you rep that during the, the practice week, okay? Red, set, go, ball snap, carrying out. Good jet sweep fake because that'll influence these guys to widen, okay? So a good fake here will force horizontal stretch and then we're going to really come right underneath it. Same thing here, step play side, coming downhill. Quarterback's job to get him the ball and then he's going to carry out a naked bootleg. Okay, I mean you can see the alley. That's the alley we want to hit. Okay, we got two down blocks. Inserting for backer, down block here. We got a kick out here. That's the seam we want to hit. Okay, so if you're able to hit that seam and your running back goes right there, okay, I can't stress enough how important it is that he doesn't come here and then try to go there. Okay, a lot of times they come to the quarterback for the ball. It's the quarterback's job to take the handoff and then insert the ball to the two. The quarterback's got to move his feet and get and, and hand to the two back, okay? Because if he gets the ball and he's too much down here, maybe they get some penetration or or he can't get to the point of attack, okay? You know, we want to hit that seam, so he need, two back needs to go right there, okay? He needs to stay on his track. He's going to chase that safety. Okay, so that was the belly versus the 5-3, 4-4. I mean, if it was a 6-2, these kids would be up, and then he would be kicking out here, okay? Nothing changes. Let's say it's a 6-2. Moving these kids on the line. Down block, he's going to pull, now he's kicking out him. So that's pretty much how you could run belly against pretty much any front. Oh, backside, inside of free set, cutoff. Here's the third play of the series, uh, play we call belly pass. Okay. Now this is uh, pretty much faking our jet sweep, or faking our belly, and we're thrown. Okay, so it's the third installment of this play. Okay, um, jet sweep, belly, and then belly pass. All three of those plays work off one another, okay? And we do have a bunch of plays to the split end side, which um, I'll go over our run game to the split end side and our pass game to the split end side as well in another video. But um, let's go through our, our belly pass, okay? Now jet motion timing, as I said in the previous two drops, okay, after the first sound. Okay, comes in motion, so it's red, set, go, ball snapped. He is going to continue his route into the flat, okay? So now it's important that he, he doesn't get too close up, up to the line of scrimmage, okay? We don't want him to collide, or if there's pressure, we don't want him knocked off his route. So make sure um, he continues his route out. Now, if you want, you can go on two as well, okay? Sometimes we will run this play on two, okay? So draw it up real quick on two. So our motion timing still stays the same. It's red. And on two would be our second go. So it's red, set, go, go. So on our second go, the ball snapped. So red, set, go, go. Ball snapped here. And he continues out, okay? It's a great way to mix up your snap count. And if you run this on one, okay, it's going to take this three back sometimes a long time to get out to the flat. Whereas if he, um, if you snap the ball and he's already out here or even over here, you know, he could get out to the flat. So I, I do recommend running it on two. We run it on both, okay? On one and two, depending on the situation, okay? So we'll run it, I'll draw it up for you here on two. Now, if it's on two, obviously there's no jet sweep fake. If it's on one, we kind of fake the jet sweep and then belly. But if it's on two, he clears out. And, and you could definitely run belly on two, have him clear out, okay? If they're sitting on a pass, say it's like third and long and you know you're going for it on two downs, a great play call would be Okay, you know, a nice tendency your key breaker would be run this on, run belly. Okay, just run it on two and then have him continue out to the flat and then you could, you know, probably gain some good yards inside. Okay, so that's a nice little play calling tip for you there. So we'll run this on two, he continues to the flat. Now, our pass blocking rules are inside over. Okay, obviously we don't want to go chasing any linebackers. So it's inside over pass blocking rules, inside over, inside over, inside over. Inside over, inside over. Now, a couple things here, okay? What you have to watch out for is this end's free. Okay, by the time he, he commits, uh, he executes his fake, this end could, be, could really pressure. Especially if they're a five-man front or a six-man front and they're sending kids off the edge. What we like to do is we'll, we'll fake our belly this way and then we peel our two back this way. As long as we op our quarterback opens up with depth, okay, fakes to the two, this way, quarterback opening this way, and the two back going to the right initially, will force the defense to bite on it, okay? I mean, you can have him just go right here, but we, we like faking like it's belly, and then we have him peel back, and the quarterback 
you know, this is somewhat of a rollout pass for us too, okay? We want him to roll out and then plant and throw, okay? We don't really want him to, to roll out too much, but if you have a mobile quarterback, you just could do a rollout pass with a speed out, okay? And that's what we call a speed out. When they come in jet motion and out, it's called a speed out. And I had the tight end block in here. He's actually going on a corner route, okay? So the four is going to seal the edge. Tight end's going to go 10 yards and break for the corner. Now, it's very important he doesn't break too early because if he breaks too early, it's, it's a really difficult pass for the quarterback, okay? We want him to drive his route up the field, straight up the field for 10 yards and then break, okay? So drive his route and then break to the corner. Okay, that'll, that'll create the perfect um, distance for the quarterback and the tight end to throw, okay? Now, first thing we want to hit is we always want to look deep to shallow, okay? We do have, we do run um, the three on the backside post. Because a lot of times when you run, you know, as, as we drew up before, as you run jet and belly, okay, I always had this split end chase in that safety, right? So after a while, the corner may not even respect that or say, oh, he's just going to chase the safety. Or the safety's flying out. Okay, you have this backside split end. So you could see pre-snap or the first couple steps, the play looks like belly. Looks like jet sweep. So, you know, it's a completely different play, but all three of these plays I drew up look the same. So it's, a, it's an awesome way to attack. But again, the progression for the quarterback is um, deep to shallow. Okay? Really want to read this corner. If this corner bails back, okay, you want to hit underneath. If he, if he corner progressively plays, progressively come up and plays the out, you want to hit over the top. Just read the corner. If he sits, we're throwing deep. If he bails back, we're throwing underneath, okay? So um, we need the two. Execute a great run fake here, okay? Really come down like he's getting on the ball, and then we want him to peel back and block the backside of the quarterback, okay? So um, if you have a quarterback that could outrun this kid, you're not worried, okay? You could have him come up and have him secure more so the front side of the play. So um, yeah, that's our belly pass. You could see how it how it looks like belly, looks like jet sweep. You know our split ends running for that safety every time, and just on the pass play, boom, we hit we have him on a post. So it's our third option. If you see the middle of the field's open, say they're rolling. I had a team actually roll a safety down. They, they have them at like 8 yards. It's pretty, I don't know why they're doing it. We killed them with this play. But um, they would roll him down and then send him, and then we had the middle of the field open. Or if they're playing two safeties, okay, you have maybe like a split field coverage for safety. Okay, you could probably hit this post. So anytime the middle of the field's open, man, this backside post is nice too.